Our universe is in a constant state of expansion, making it increasingly challenging to determine its boundaries and accurately measure its full size. However, thanks to the groundbreaking advancements made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have the ability to peer into the most distant and far-flung regions of the universe, revealing sights that were once beyond human comprehension. Since the telescope began its explorations, scientists like Brian Cox and others have unveiled astonishing revelations about the true scale of the universe, a scale so vast that it is almost beyond our imagination. Within the fragment of the universe that we can observe, there are an estimated 2 trillion galaxies. This mind-boggling figure is derived from extensive studies of the local universe, and yet, we are fairly certain that this observable portion is just a tiny piece of a much larger, potentially infinite, universe that remains unknown to us. We are not separate entities within this grand universe but integral components of it, intimately connected to its very fabric. In a profound way, we are the means by which the universe becomes aware of itself. With the help of the James Webb Telescope, humanity embarks on a vast journey of discovery, plunging ever deeper into the mysteries of space to uncover the true extent of our universe. If you're intrigued by these cosmic revelations and want to stay updated on the latest discoveries about the universe and its surroundings, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on notifications to never miss an update. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on the immense scale of our solar system, which serves as a humbling reminder of how vast the universe truly is. For instance, if we were to travel at a speed of 70 miles per hour, it would take us approximately 15 days to complete one lap around the Earth's equator. To reach the moon, traveling at that same speed, we would need about five months. If Mars is at its closest point to Earth, it would take a staggering 63 years to reach it. But the most mind-blowing figure comes when we consider how long it would take to reach Neptune. At 70 miles per hour, the journey would last an astonishing 4,400 years. These numbers alone highlight the incredible distances involved in even our relatively small solar system. To put these figures into perspective, consider the Voyager 1 probe, which was launched in 1977 at an incredible speed of 38,000 miles per hour. Even at this extraordinary velocity, it didn't leave the solar system until 2012, a journey that took 35 years. This means that it took more than three decades just to exit our solar system. In contrast, light, which can travel around the Earth seven times in just one second, seems slow when compared to the vast distances of space. But even though our solar system is immense, it pales in comparison to the sheer enormity of the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy contains roughly 300 billion stars, each of which likely hosts its own set of planets. The closest of these stars to our solar system is Alpha Centauri, which is located 4.3 light years away. If we were to travel at the speed of light, it would take us 4.3 years to reach this neighboring star. Now, imagine how long it would take to travel to the next star system at the same speed as the Voyager 1 probe, which is a mere 38,000 miles per hour. The journey would take a staggering 70,000 years. This helps us grasp the vast distances we would need to traverse to explore even the closest stars. Let us now turn our attention to Vega, a star located 64 light years away. To understand the vast distances involved, consider the concept of the radio sphere, which represents the area that our radio transmissions have reached in the last century. Although the signals degrade over time, they have managed to reach about 15,000 star systems so far. But even this impressive figure is only a fraction of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Vega, though, offers us an even more fascinating glimpse into the passage of time. If you were to look up at Vega in the night sky tonight, the light you see left the surface of that star 640 years ago, about 100 years before Christopher Columbus set sail for the New World. The fact that this light has been traveling through space for centuries before reaching our planet is truly awe-inspiring. Yet, when we consider the size of the Milky Way, we realize that Vega is still relatively close to us. To put things in even greater perspective, our radio sphere, which encompasses all human radio transmissions, is just a tiny dot within the immense expanse of the Milky Way. 
Imagine if we reduced our solar system to the size of a quarter, and then compared the entire Milky Way to the size of the United States, that's how vast our galaxy is. The Milky Way contains around 300 billion star systems, and we are just one of those countless systems floating within an unimaginably large galaxy. Beyond the Milky Way, there are at least a trillion more galaxies scattered throughout the universe. Yes, you heard that right, a trillion galaxies. To truly comprehend this number, think of 1,000 cats. Now, imagine that there are 1,000 groups of cats, each consisting of 1,000 cats, that would give you a total of 1 million cats. But to understand a trillion, you must remember that a trillion equals a million multiplied by a million. The magnitude of such a number is staggering. Our nearest neighboring galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, is located 2.5 million light-years away and is rapidly approaching us at a tremendous speed. As Andromeda moves closer, our night sky will undergo significant changes. This galaxy contains around 1 trillion stars, and when it eventually collides with our own Milky Way, which contains 300 billion stars, the chances of individual stars from both galaxies colliding with one another are quite slim. This fact demonstrates the vastness of space and the low probability of direct star-to-star -star interactions, even during galactic collisions. While these collisions may be rare on the level of individual stars, they can still have profound effects on the galaxies involved, possibly even facilitating the exchange of life between them. Galaxies, much like stars and planets, are not static entities, they are dynamic, ever-changing systems that are constantly evolving. Beyond our galaxy lies our local group of galaxies, followed by the Virgo Cluster, which contains more than 1,500 galaxies. And the Virgo Cluster, in turn, is part of an even larger supercluster known as the Lania Chaos Supercluster, which contains an estimated 100,000 galaxies. Each of these galaxies is home to hundreds of billions of stars and planets, all orbiting within this massive cosmic structure. Yet, even this is just a tiny part of the grand picture. In the observable universe alone, there are around 10 million superclusters, each composed of countless galaxies. However, these mapped galaxies are only a small fraction of what truly exists out there, and there are likely hundreds of billions of galaxies that we have not yet mapped or even discovered. The cosmic background radiation, which is the oldest detectable form of light, serves as a remnant of the early stages of the universe tracing back to the Big Bang itself. When we consider the cosmic scale beyond the galaxies, we encounter regions known as cosmic voids. These vast expanses are sparsely populated with matter compared to the rest of the universe. These voids, though appearing empty, may one day give rise to new structures and galaxies. Beyond these voids, we find cosmic filaments, enormous threads made of dust, gas, and dark matter that stretch across billions of light years connecting galaxies and galaxy clusters like a cosmic web. These filaments form the skeletal structure that binds the universe together through gravitational interactions. The distribution of matter across the universe is not uniform, but instead follows a web-like pattern, where galaxies and superclusters are linked by these filaments, creating an intricate and awe-inspiring tapestry that spans unimaginable distances. Within these cosmic filaments and superclusters, galaxies congregate, interacting through the forces of gravity. The vastness of space provides a stage for countless celestial phenomena. For instance, supernovae, which mark the explosive death of massive stars, disperse heavy elements throughout the universe, enriching the interstellar medium and seeding planetary systems. Black holes, with their overwhelming gravitational pull, play a critical role in the evolution of galaxies. These cosmic entities can release jets of energy that stretch across vast distances, influencing the behavior of matter across space. In the farthest reaches of the cosmos, we find even more exotic phenomena, such as quasars, which are supermassive black holes that consume surrounding matter and emit colossal amounts of energy. These quasars can outshine entire galaxies, acting as beacons that allow us to peer back into the early stages of the universe's formation. But what lies beyond the observable universe? There are undoubtedly countless more galaxies out there, beyond our reach. The light from these galaxies has not yet had enough time to reach Earth due to the limitations of the speed of light and the ever-expanding nature of the universe. 
In fact, as the universe continues to expand, the light from most of these distant galaxies may never reach us. As a result, large portions of the universe will remain forever inaccessible to us. Based on our understanding of the laws of physics, we can infer that the universe is at least 250 times larger than the portion we can observe. Some theories even suggest that the universe could be infinitely large. Contemplating the vastness of the universe naturally invites deeper reflection on the nature of existence and humanity's role within the cosmos. Here we are, living on a small, remote planet in the midst of this colossal universe, pondering our place in it all. If you've ever wondered just how vast the universe truly is, I hope this exploration has given you a deeper understanding, even if only a glimpse, of the immensity of the cosmos. Please feel free to use the comment section to ask any questions, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.